He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? I've been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Good. Bet your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! In you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Let's go. Getting goose pimples? Finally! I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No, it's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off, but the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skell's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? To be honest, I prefer women. Aye, now I see. The Skull sings true. Love bears many guises. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but... I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Tell her to take the wash down. You keep practicing. All right. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go!
What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him and so did I. But he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. Did you tell them? Clear my name! <laughs> Be gone, I say! <laughs> Fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell. It requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. It didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real. But it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk. But not here, alright? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We have every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. Didn't learn much. Though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. <sighs> Makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, 
I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing is clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden, I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Not so fast, Roach. Thank you. 
let him through. No sweat off your back, no harm done. Perhaps, but then taint no help to us neither. Besides, why do you care? You as nanny or something? Let him pass. I'll pay his toll. Ah, knew it! It's his nanny! Seemed a warrior for a bit. Now why is a bleeding nanny wear swords across his back? Want me to show you? I can still change my mind. Calm now. No need. Coin's there, so let him through. And who's paying for who? That's no concern of ours. Thank you, Wanderer. I shall say a prayer for you at my pilgrimage's end. Nice gesture, thanks. Now where's your pilgrimage taking you? To the four faces of Hemdal, raised in honor of our great hero. I've heard the legends of Hemdal, a great warrior and first father of the Isles. Tis true. And before the advent of Ted Dare, the final age, he shall return, walk amidst us, and face the evil powers, demons, and specters of chaos. The golden cockerel Camby will crow to warn Hemdal of the coming of the Nargal Fair, bringing the army of darkness. A battle will ensue, Ragnarok, and Hemdal will clash with the forces of the dark. Let's hope he wins. It'll make no difference. The prophecy is clear. After Ragnarok, the world will end. Prophecies can be tricky that way, and there's never an ending that's not also a new beginning, a fresh start. Let us hope you're right, Wanderer. Let us hope you're right. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill.
of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. 
fuck? What now? Heard you were in Keratin's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spin it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keratin. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keratin. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Tear him apart! Pathetic. search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Curd. Ah, curd. That would be the spot. 
Grubs from? Not as the bowl's full. Not my fault we ended six feet under the birches. Why do you have to play that here? Diagram. Think you can forge the weapon? So long.
Hunger's turn. This Flies around shit instead of doing some honest work. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salis? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Keratin a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. 
I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. That's... Take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him, we were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off! Leave him. Let's go. Are you off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Keratin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. We'll catch some. Have a race. Is 
long since for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Come on. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a Jinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Know where to look? For the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Here's how I see it. We join Hawker on some lanes, and build the tavern with the loot. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Are very Lead known. the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No.
Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? I'm not sure this gin thing is a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Is it warm enough for you? How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Who wouldn't admit it if I did? Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A warhorn. Bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere.
You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. There's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. 